Hello and welcome to a new week on iRacing. We're getting started off here with some Gen 4 at Indy, the Indy Oval, which should be a very interesting combo. Big braking zones into what are essentially 90 degree turns. And a very fast car hitting 200 here, as we do in many large tracks in this car, which is just fantastic. I love it. <laughs> but, uh,. Gonna do some qualifying in practice. I was able to get just within the 51 second range, which seemed like a pretty good time. But we're in a very, very strong field here to start the week, too. 4.4k strength of field, according to Race Labs. Race Lab, I guess. And we are the 13. So we've got some stiff competition out here to worry about. So we'll see how uh, how well we can do. Green flag, green flag. Okay, here comes your first time black. Be a little too hard on the brakes there. Through one and two all right, I'll take that. 0 0.04 off the all time optimal. A little low right there, a little too low. Caused me to be hesitant on throttle. We are getting it sideways. Speaking of sideways, get sideways on the exit too. So not a great Three and four, unfortunately. One more lap. Not quite the 51. It's pretty close, though. That's Paul. Paul, but that's just because we're probably one of the first to put a lap in. Get through one and two about the same. I think the tires fall off pretty quick. So I'm not even sure if uh, this second lap's going to be worth much here, but we might hit the hit the marks a little bit better this time. Would help us out. Uh, I don't think so. I think the tires lose too much grip by the second lap. But that's all right. 52-0. Didn't quite get the 51, but I'll take it. It seems like it's holding up pretty well. In fact, we were 0 .001 off of the pole. How about that? I mean, for now, anyway. There's lots of low numbers that I'm not seeing on the standings over there, which I'm sure are all going to fly in and scoop up about five spots ahead of me. But we'll see, I guess. Uh, my goal this time around don't get wrecked out like I did last week <laughs> in the first race of the week of course I don't really have any say over that if guys are gonna run out of the back of me but would prefer that not happen again practiced some green flag pit stops look at this little speed limit. low effort right there but I did practice it you really gotta slow down even before you get out of the corner basically so I want to adjust my graphics because I've been losing too much uh, I've been losing frames too much and I don't like that so we're not gonna be doing that lower some stuff I don't know if these minor things I'm changing are gonna make a difference but oh well so hold on to p3 for now that's kind of crazy a lot of guys finished their laps, it looks like, and they only have 27 seconds to go, so maybe we did qualify really well. All right. I see some names I recognize, for better or for worse. But not going to worry about that. Going to worry about my own driving. And hopefully I don't hit the wall. Very easy to hit the wall here. 
at Indy. Especially that the car gets tight and you start heading toward the wall, it can be tough to make it stop going toward the wall. Just getting a look at some of the information of the guys around us. You can't see it, but I have race lab, so kind of just looking at the licenses around us. I ratings, just kind of see what I can expect. I do want to save tire, of course. You'll be lining up on the inside. So I hope I don't get run into from behind if I'm not going 110,000% on lap one. It's kind of what happened at Michigan. I ease out, ease into the corner just a little bit, and that guy gets me from a car length and a half behind. Got my brake bias all the way back. Hopefully that can get some rotation in the car. Interestingly, we have 26.2 estimated laps of fuel, and it's a 50 lap race. So we're just barely going to make it to halfway. So there's not going to be any shortcutting, I don't think, unless we want it to get real close on fuel. I think we're going to try to pit at 25. In fact, I think, man, I don't even know if I would want to stretch it one more lap because, I mean, we basically only have one more lap. So if I stretch it one more lap and I miss the pits or something, uh, I'm going to have to get a push to pit lane. So only two sets of tires. Interesting, interesting. I guess I'll put this all the way back to just because I can. You have two additional sets of tires. I don't want to lose a ton of track position either, though. Because it could be tough to pass here. Follow car number zero three in the inside. Not sure. Car. Definitely going to try to get some practice uh, getting on the throttle. See what pace speed is and then see what it feels like when we try launching. Pace speed pretty fast here, since it's such a big track. We're about 75 miles an hour, I think, pace speed. Looks like we can hit the throttle pretty good. I'm sure it'll get all wiggly once we get up to the high RPM, so I will have to be ready for that. But Initial throttle, not too bad. On fresh tires, of course. I'm sure it's a different story altogether. Once the tires lose some grip. That number three, really fast. He was the fastest guy in, in practice beforehand, too. And he's the only one that gets a 51 in the qualifying session. So he's got the hot lap figured out. Three's going way down there for some reason. Best seat in the house to watch him get his jump, though. So hopefully we won't be far behind. Maybe we can even get to the inside of this 9, which is always where you want to be here at Indy. Maybe we'll find ourselves in P2 before too long. Alright, hopefully we get some better luck this week. A little late on the shift. Car outside. Stay low. Keep low. Clear outside. I will file in. All right. Still P3. I'll take it. Boost. All right, gonna hopefully get a handle on that. Gonna try to get it on the right rear while not overdoing it.
Got some room behind. I like seeing that. See how clean the race ends up being. Indy can get a little bit messy sometimes, but it can be clean as well. Just depending on the group of drivers you get, but I know that uh, it can be really easy for guys to get into each other when they enter the corner side by side here with how sharp the corners are. Trying to focus on getting good runs out of the corner. Next time, try to at least try to make the corner. Uh oh. You uh, hit the wall in front of me, and then it was Nick. I got a zero X, no damage. That means I'm sorry, but. Sorry if I was driving like a hack, you know, on an important phone call. We're good now. Got tempers flaring already. Something went on back there. Uh, I went from following you into the corner to you hitting the wall and coming to a stop. I don't know what I'm going to do for you now. Sorry. Sounds like we had something go on, but no caution from it. Twenty-two involved, but he's still right behind us. Sounds like he got in the back of somebody. Details fuzzy. But it sounds like we know that much at least. Lots of space in between cars right now, it looks like. For the most part. Draft are not a huge thing with these car bodies in Arca and, and the uh, Gen 4. That was a Whereas normally uh, at Indy you would get a lot of draft here. That leader's rocketing away. Let's see what tires do though. Feeling pretty good though being a P3, especially as the 13. Very strong field. Seems like track position is going to be very important. Because you'll lose a lot of time trying to pass somebody. Okay, trying to be aggressive on exit to get on the right rear, but I don't want to slide up into the wall either. I feel like I'm not hitting my marks all too well, to be honest with you. That was uh, 53.3. The gap to Ryan ahead is now 1.4. Trying to keep it smooth. I think a smooth exit out of uh, out of the corners is so important to get that good run. Half a second back to us, or back to fourth, which has a new 
driver there. I feel like I'm being good on the right front, but who knows. I'm doing some pretty heavy braking. I'm hoping it's paying off. Those guys ahead, though, sure are driving away. Guy behind gains a tenth. Only temporarily though, looks like I stretched it back again once we uh, got to the end of the straightaway. Indy's a real tough place, man. Very uh, unique way you have to drive it. I don't feel like I'm third place speed by any means, so... Sorry. If slash when these guys catch me, I won't put up much of a fight. And they are on their way. Ah, that was a bad exit. It's exactly what you need to not do at Indy is get a bad exit, especially out of uh, two and four. Can't let them uh, intimidate me back there. I'm worried about the dive bomb, but I can't let that affect how I take my corner too much. gonna pass me. It's only a matter of time. I just hope he uh, is smart about it. Ugh. Almost got the wall. Another bad run out of four. I thought I saw the guy had struggled a little bit. I saw him look like he hit the wall earlier. I figured it was a net coat, but then I just saw it again. He might actually be hitting the wall. At least one of the times. Try not to look at much else other than the things I need to be looking at to hit my marks, though.
Sorry, I wasn't trying to block you. It's just super sideways. Caution free so cool. far, though. Hard, really hard, like that. Bitch. I know what you got here, Pop. Don't feel like I'm holding him up back there. But he hasn't... Man, your tires are gonna be dead in like five more laps. Jesus. He hasn't been able to get a nose on me or anything, or get much of a run, so... I've been able to prevent that, at least. I'm trying to give him a chance, though. Getting loose on exit, this might be it. I think he's gonna get there. No, not quite. He's probably annoyed with me. They're probably both just stuck behind me right now. I feel like it's all on me too. I don't even feel like I was ter I've been terrible on the tires. It's just I'm not hitting my marks exactly because this is such a tough place to get it get it right. Big run for him here. I don't know. Maybe we're just about the same pace. Maybe I'm not holding him up at all. Hard to say. Been pretty equal with the 9 up there after he pulled away a little bit. It's been right around 1.8 for a while. Thank you. Right on me again, though. I hit that pretty good. I'm happy with that. Ooh, that was a good three and four. Only I could do that every time. That's probably what the three's doing every time. He's killing it up there. Getting a little bit loose. That rear is feeling the heat.
still just gonna come in at halfway, I guess. Ooh! Slid all the way through the corner there. That was bad. Tires were hot in four as well, which ruined that corner. Here's the two. File in. Or not. Lindowski is going to get to our inside as well. We'll have to get behind him as well, as well too. Jack pitting in, according to chat, but he had troubles earlier, so he might have a good reason for coming in early. You can't make it on fuel to the end if you come in now, I don't think. So, would not be a great idea to do that strategy-wise. Kind of nice having a reference point in front of me again. I'm driving with the closest guy in front of me a second plus away for so long. Shouldn't need it, but I do feel like it helps. That rear is not happy with me. That right rear. Got a couple of guys behind us. Right front's not liking me so much either. I don't think I saved quite as well as these other guys around me. I think I was doing good at the beginning of the run, but kind of uh, was driving in a little bit too hard. Once we get a little further in that in this run. Those guys a little bit better long run. Got the 12 behind me. Holding steady or about 4 or 5 tenths. Other guy's talking about pitting in. That's going to be close on fuel, I swear. Unless the initial estimate of 26 laps was a little off. Three laps, yeah. <laughs> Maybe about 27 laps you can make it. So maybe we'll go on 26? I don't know. Track position would be important, though. Maybe we come in this Do a one lap undercut. Maybe get in front of these guys again. Thinking about strategy. Even just a little bit. Messing up my corners. I don't know, I feel like a lot of people are going to come in on lap 25, maybe even this lap, could be a caution. Alright, we'll be putting in next lap then. In the 
this lap, box this lap, please Colton. Alright, we're coming in this time. Guess he doesn't have chat. Speed limit is 60 miles per hour. Yeah, speed? Just barely didn't speed. That guy behind had me worried. Okay, full fuel. Coming up on halfway here. Pit box team. Ten. That's half distance. That was close. Right here. Oh, that was a little close. Okay, 71.68. Wow, okay. That's not too bad. I don't think, actually. I guess I don't have any reference points, so what do I know? Okay, punch it. Fitting in, fitting in. Go ahead. You only have one tire test remaining. I'm pitting, too. I did practice pit exit. We'll see if that pays off at all. Yeah, looks like I'm about equal with everybody else. No one coming up on us. Get back into the racing line. Hopefully remember how to drive this thing on fresh tires. How are we going to come out compared to the guys that went a little longer? B16. Oh, we are passing some guys. Interesting. All right. That's the leader right up there, too, Bob Bryant, the guy that was the leader. It's much closer than he was before. Got the number four kind of breathing down our neck now. But I'm going to just have to ignore that. Focus on hitting my marks. He might pass us, that's okay. If that happens. Biggest thing is I don't want to waste too much time making the exchange. It needs to happen. We're in second place. Guys that hit a lap later than us that were ahead of us, they're three plus seconds back and only on one lap fresher tires. Alright. We're not going to fight that. Like I said, don't want to waste time as much as I can avoid it. have someone to follow. Maybe I can hit my marks a little bit better instead of uh, being out in the ocean alone without a map. This huge track feels like an ocean sometimes. Let's 
two. Catching up behind us, 1.6. One lap fresher tires. He had no trouble catching me last run, so he could easily be back here again. Still P P3, though, after a green flag pit stops, which, by the way, awesome race so far. Let me not just, like, take that for granted, especially in the Gen 4. Great race. Love having that green flag pit stop happen. Zero point one. it's estimating, but I always, uh... I have it set my fuel calculator set up so that it says uh, what I would need for one lap extra. So I guess we gotta hope there's no green white checkered. Then again, I guess if there would be, we would come and take tires anyway, so it wouldn't matter. I'm definitely losing time behind me, I think. Maybe they could battle for uh, that spot, though. I see they're really close back there for fourth and fifth. Maybe they'll end up side by side, and that'll help me maintain position here. Still a while to go though, 18 more laps still. Lap traffic coming up, interestingly. Kinda looking like he's in the way of the leader right now. Really bad, actually. Wow, that slowed up the leader a ton! Damn, <laughs> We get slowed up a little bit on the exit of four there, but not nearly as much as the guys ahead did. Fortunately, can't clear him before the corner, so he can't take the proper angle. Not too bad. I don't know why he wouldn't back out for me there, but okay. That's fine. Guess he doesn't have to. I just hope that he holds up the guys behind, just like he did to us. Leader's, well, uh, much more within our sights than before. I don't think I have any chance of catching him still. Just done a what? Less of an impossibility than it was before, interestingly enough. They are still driving away from me. Although... I think the four's catching the three. Now if they start battling, things could get really interesting for me. I still have to hold on to P3 though. A couple of guys behind me. Want what I got.
A little bit too soft for two there. Go out here. The four is right on them though up there. Just two tenths apart. Sliding it out of four. Trying to carry as much momentum as I can. Thank you, sir. Saw some smoke or dust or whatever. The head from a wall hit. That was the worst turn one of all time. Try to bring it back a little bit through two, but that was a terrible turn one. Notice that the uh, six is on the relative again. Are we gonna reach him again somehow? Obviously, he must have pit or something. Good to be on the relative again. That kind of shook up the race the first time we saw him. Interesting if it happened again. Though it looks like he's going pretty fast. He must have come in and got tires or something. I have no idea. Loose. Uh, I gotta be better. Gotta counter steer better. They're they're only a tenth apart for the lead. You've just done a fifty-three point tight. The captain Roberts behind is now zero point nine. Keep it smooth. I have no idea what happened to Lewandowski. He just hasn't been able to come back up here. He was with the two. Might have been some issues during pit stops or not as able to get around guys. Not a great lap at all. That whole lap, not great. Losing more and more rear grip. Uh, that was bad. I'm losing it, man. Gotta smooth it out. Every tiny, tiny little slip up loses me some more time to the two behind. Did the leader just miss the corner a little bit? He looked higher up the track than I would have thought. Ah, uh, yeah, the, the two's catching me now. I'm struggling all of a sudden. Ten laps to go. It's just a little too tight all of a sudden. He's going to be right on my bumper again. 
Once he did last time, though, it felt like he wasn't really able to get around. We'll see if that's the same story this time, though, especially if I'm missing the corner into turn one. I missed my marks bad. Yeah, he's got it. Handling's just gone away on me. Thank you. Clear. I would like to keep my P4, please. So let's get moving. One second back to fifth. Eight to go. Okay. And I hold on to P4. Looks like the f number four up there has lost a little time on the three. We'll try to keep the pace up too. You just never know if the guy ahead's gonna have uh, an issue or something. Maybe we can get on by. Just one wall hit, and we might be able to get around him on one of these long straightaways. I feel like I drive so much better just when there's a car in front of me to judge off of. And just because there's not a car filling up my rearview mirror, making me overdrive it. I feel like that has something to do with it, too. One point one back to the number five, who is now your fifth place car. See Lewandowski again on the relative. Oh, I overdrove that bad. Actually, it's more like I missed my turn in. I didn't get the angle in the corner right at all. That was terrible. Looking at the relative instead of at my uh, turn in point. Not good. If I keep doing that, I'm going to be looking at the relative, watching them get closer. Go aim toward the inside. Good idea. Believe it or not, the high line, not where you want to be at Indy. The <laughs> high line at Indy. Imagine if they put, like, a crazy high bank just at right next to the wall here at ND or something stupid. <laughs> but kept the regular banking at the rest of the on the rest of the track. It's really dumb. <laughs> it's about what you would need though for to get the eye line to work here, I think. The cheese you would hit going into the corner. I snap your spine in half. What's that? Yeah, to check my fuel. I know I'm good, but I'm wondering how close it'll be. We've got four laps left and five and a half laps of fuel. So we got like 1.5 laps of fuel to spare. Really interesting how close it is. Point seven behind us. He's getting closer, but he's running out of time to reach me. You have about five laps of fuel left. 
Here's the five laps of fuel left call. Uh-oh, he is catching behind, though. Every time I look, he's gained about a ten. Can't make a mistake. I'm point five back now. Yeah. He's gaining. Gonna be two to go. Oh man, he's getting close. He's point three now. He's flying. And I am dying. He's gonna end up getting me on the last lap, isn't he? Point three back. Yikes. Alright, I just gotta do four turns right though. There's one. That's good enough, I think. Alright, we'll count that as two. That was better than last lap. Just hold on to it. P4 in a strong field. First race of the week. How about that? Yeah, caution free. It's Gen 4 fixed. Turning around? I don't know. We did not get rear-ended this race. And look what we can do when that happens. Alright. Thank you. Good race. Good. Win. P4. That's so good. I'm, I'm so happy with that. Started third. Get P4. Finish ahead of some really fast guys. Super thrilled with that. That's the 13. What were our tires? 68, 70. So definitely harder on the right front this time. In that run. That's okay. Coming in on lap 25, worked out for us well, even though I was very close to speeding. The guy behind me made me nervous. Because he was entering a lot better than me. But he probably pushed me to have a better green flag pit stop, to be fair. But that is great, I'm so happy with that. Didn't hit the wall, I avoided that the whole race. Crucial to a good finish. And uh, we'll see what did happen out here. None of which bringing out a yellow. Love it. There is Jack. Getting hit. Not sure. The 22 is claiming that he got into the wall. It doesn't look like he did, though. 
Yeah, no, the 22 just overdrove, or like, drove that way too hard. Because you compare my speed up ahead to the 10, it's about the same. The 22 just drives in way too hard. Plows through Jack there. That's, uh, that was me last race, last week. Getting plowed into from behind by someone that wasn't so concerned about saving tires, I guess. Jeff Gordon in the wall. That was a skip all the way to lap 13. Very run, well run race by a lot of guys. There's uh, Jack getting loose. Probably the damage not helping him. I think he calls it quits pretty soon after this. That thing looks damaged. I know he left early. Lap 28. We've already skipped over the pit stops. No issues at all during the pit stops. Eighteen, breaking loose and hitting the wall. The six have, must have had a penalty or something. Because he's coming back into the pits on lap 31. I know for a fact he had to have come in earlier. Because you can't make it that long on fuel. So he had to re-enter the pits, presumably for a penalty. 22 gets the wall. And that's the end of the race. What an incredibly well-run race by a lot of guys. A lot of talented drivers. Um, just one, like, pretty bad mistake I saw in the incidents. A guy driving in too hard and hitting somebody. But other than that, just some slight mistakes getting into the wall and such. Very talented field, and we are able to get P4 in the very talented field. Makes me feel even better about getting a great finish whenever uh, everybody else pretty much put in a very good effort. So that's awesome. I really enjoyed that race. Caution free Indy Oval. Love it. Look at this. Not a single incident in the field. Oh, never mind. I forgot Jack got hit. Not a single incident in the field, except for Jack, who got hit. Not his fault. The, the one thing I was kind of pointing out, the one bad thing that happened. But man, I am smiling. That was great. I hope you enjoyed that one, too. That was a wonderful way to start the week. And uh, with a top four, top five. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time with uh, some more new stuff from the new week. Have a good one.